all of my MAC goodies. Hi guys, it's your girl Riveting Radiance and today's video is going to be a mall haul. Recently, I completely transitioned over from corporate America to being a stay-at-home mom. So so I thought, what other reason did I need to celebrate? Duh. So I went to the mall. And first I got a mani-pedi. And these are my nails. And this is the gel polish. It dries instantly. It doesn't chip. And it lasts longer. I wanted something a little bit more fancy. But me being a mom and having a six-month-old, I just decided to keep it simple and stick to the basics so that's what I did but you know one day I will try out the stiletto nails just to go ahead and get it out of my system so first I'm going to show you what I got from Bath and Body Works so from Bath and Body Works I got two candles and I've already lit one and used it I couldn't wait let me just say that I am not into those Caribbean island fruity flowery smells I noticed that I used to be when I was in college and when I was a teenager but as I got older I started liking more savory smells so I started liking smells like nutmeg and hazelnut and pumpkin and cinnamon and things like that but so when I went to Bath and Body Works I noticed they didn't really have a lot of those smells they had like peach bellini and things like that and I mean they smell good but not really what I want my home to smell like I probably wouldn't mind my bathroom smelling like it but not my actual home like the living quarters like the living room and my bedroom and things like that so I settled on um, the first one is frosted cupcake and the second one which I've already started to burn is coconut leaves coconut leaves smells really really good <sighs> I'm not even a fan of coconut, but this smells really, really good. And the reason why I got this is because I just recently started using coconut oil. And the coconut oil smells really good. And I thought, you know what? I should get a candle with a coconut scent because I was so drawn to the coconut oil smell. I got it. And I like it. I'm satisfied. Um, the Frosted Cupcake one, it smells just like cream cheese icing. Next, I went to Sephora. Sephora was completely out of everything that I wanted. So, I mainly got a lot of samples. So, I'll go over all of the samples. And so, the first thing I wanted was this purple lipstick. And I'll go ahead and insert a picture so you can see the exact shade of purple that I'm referencing. And I've been searching all over for this specific purple but I think that it's a mixture I think it's something that someone made I don't think it's an actual color that I can purchase but I did see a purple that was extremely close to it and it was by a brand called Ella Masca I'm not sure if you guys have heard of that before you know if you have um comment in the bottom and let me know what you think about that brand but the name of the purple lipstick is called control and this of course is how the sample look i'll show you the purple lipstick so it's like a deep purple with like dark undertones and then I wanted some BB cream. Now, originally I was going to get some Maybelline BB cream, you know, but um, the sales rep there talked me into the Smashbox BB cream in the color dark. I tried it on my hand and it looked beautiful. It felt wonderful. It had like a really bronzy color to it. It was very warm and I loved it. I wanted it. I was like, okay, get it. Go, you know, go grab it. I want to purchase that. She goes to grab it and of course, um, they didn't have it. They were out. So she gave me a sample. 
And this is the color. That color is so pretty. Um, let me guys know if you want me to do a video once I apply it so you can actually see how it looks on my skin. Next thing I got samples of was the Makeup Forever foundation. Originally, I just wanted a sample of just the Makeup Forever HD foundation. So she gave me two different colors, number 173 and number 175, because apparently she thinks, you know, if one doesn't work, the other one will. And if the other one doesn't work, I could actually mix them to get the perfect color. So these are the little baggies they came in. Now I'll go ahead and show you the colors. So of course the lighter one is the 173 and then the darkest of the two is number 175. I ended up realizing that the Makeup Forever HD foundation is not full coverage. And as you guys know from all my previous videos, I, I am on a skin journey and I do have problem areas. And um, right now I'm wanting to cover those up as much as possible. And a medium to full coverage may not give me the exact coverage that I'm looking for as far as like my blemishes and dark spots and things like that are concerned. So she did go ahead and give me the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. And and uh, I let her know that um, my lips felt like sandpaper and they were extremely chapped. I don't know if it's because of the harsh winter or what the situation is, but I needed a lip scrub. Like, I ended up receiving this as a free gift. And the brand is Fresh and it's um, Sugar Kisses Mini Lip Duo. And I have been using these and I actually have it on right now under what I have on my lips. I'll go ahead and show you how they look. This one ha doesn't have a, a name because it is just transparent. And this one is called Rosé. 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 I don't know why that makes me want to dance, but it's a red color. These feel amazing on my lips. I'm definitely going to go back and get more. They have SPF 15 in them also. So. Alright, lastly, I went to MAC. I want to give a shout out to my girl Rihanna. Hey Rihanna, if you're watching this. Um, I'm giving her a shout out because she is a freelance makeup artist and she also works at MAC. But, she, but we don't reside in the same state. So the MAC that I went to to purchase these items is not the MAC that she works at. She puts up a lot of makeup pictures. And there was one particular picture where I was just completely in love with her foundation. And I was like, what is that? And she told me it was the MAC Face and Body Foundation. So I went there and um, I purchased the Face and Body Foundation in the color C7. I went in there, I told the girl what I was looking for. When I went there, the lady had me actually remove all of my makeup and she wanted to reapply it using the products that I was in there to purchase just to make sure that it was exactly what I wanted and that I loved it before I purchased it. So I didn't mind, you know, getting a free makeover. So that is the color that she picked out for me the C7 but she also said with the face and body it's not going to give me the full coverage that I'm looking for so she had me also purchase the um, Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45 so I got those two and she told me to mix those and I will get a, the perfect coverage and I actually have it on now so you guys tell me what you think should I not believe the hype or was she right?
the lip that she did on me i really really liked it so of course i had to get whatever she did on my lips she used the mac lip liner in the color chestnut Then the lipstick that she put on me was um, a satin lipstick by the name of Myth. It's a really pretty nude color. I love it. And then on top of that, she put a lip gloss, a lip gloss, a lip gloss, it's a cream sheen. They had Candy Yum Yum, but honestly, I am so sick of Candy Yum Yum. Like, I've never owned it. I've never purchased it. I've never tried it on. I've never worn it. But everybody and their mama and their grandma and their aunt and their cousin and their sister and their sister and their sister has Candy Yum Yum. And I'm like, we all going to be walking around in the summertime looking alike with Candy Yum Yum on our lips. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that's a one-of-a-kind color. There's no dupe that exists. You know, it's original. It's unique. It's, you know, very bright and vibrant and, you know, almost have like a, fl a fluorescent feel to it. I just got kind of turned off buy it because so many people had it she was like well what about do you have any of the um the Nicki minaj lipsticks and i was like no i don't have any of those either and she was like well you have to buy one of those you can't leave out of here without either getting candy yum yum or either you know the Nicki viva glam and i was like okay well i guess i'll get the Nicki viva glam because i really love coral you know, I really love that color, so I went ahead and um, I, I purchased the Nikki Viva Glam. I have a coral lipstick that I love a lot and it's almost out, so I figured I will get, to replace it, I would actually get the, um, the Nikki Viva Glam. And this is the one that's almost out and I'm gonna show you the Nikki and you're gonna see how close they are so that's all I got and then I ended the night with PF Chang's I love PF Chang's I love the ambiance I love the environment I love the food I love the drinks I love everything I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and let me know what you think down below. Don't forget to thumbs up for more hauls. Mwah.